Hello, I'm David from Smarter Business Processes. In this video, I'm going to show you the multi-sheet version of the Smarter drop-down list manager, part of our Smarter Controls for Smartsheet range of apps designed to help Smartsheet users work more efficiently. As you can tell from the name, the Smarter drop-down list manager allows you to send a single list of options to multiple drop-down lists in multiple different sheets, all from one central point. You can specify individual sheets to be updated or all sheets in a folder or even throughout an entire workspace. Let's look at an example. Say I'm managing a landscaping company and we have a series of projects. Here we have just two, but you might have a much larger number of course. Each of these project sheets has an assigned two column where I can assign members of my team to particular tasks. But what if I want to add a new team member to all of the drop downs, or indeed remove a team member who has left the company? With just two sheets, it's not much of an overhead. But if you have a hundred sheets or more, updating them all is going to take up quite a chunk of your time. With the drop down list manager, I can manage the assigned two columns in all of the project sheets at once without having to go into each sheet and manually make the changes. Let's see how it works. This is the source sheet for our various drop down lists, including the assigned to column. And here is the full list of my team members. We have all of our drop down list source data in this one sheet, just to make it easier to see in this demo. But your source data could be stored in a similar way anywhere in your Smartsheet environment. So let's add a new member of staff to the bottom of the list. As all of my test employees are fictional detectives, let's add Nancy Drew. Now in normal operation, the drop down list manager will automatically refresh your drop down lists every 10 minutes or so. But you can refresh manually using the Smarter Controls for Smartsheet console and clicking the run button. So let's check that Nancy Drew is now appearing on the project sheets. So here she is on the first project sheet and she'll be on all the others as well. But how do we control where the source data comes from and which sheets are going to receive these updates? Let's dive a bit deeper. At the center of the drop down list manager is this control sheet. Each row in this sheet represents a link between a source and a destination. We can specify the sheet ID of the source sheet here and tell the system which column in that sheet to use as the source data. Next, we simply specify the destination sheet ID and column name here, and the entry is complete. We've also left some space to store additional information about the sheets to help keep track of everything and provide an easy way to navigate between them. As I mentioned before, destination ID can be an individual sheet, but it could also represent a folder or even a workspace. And all of the sheets stored within that folder or workspace will be updated accordingly. The advantage here is that you can control the drop down lists on a new sheet simply by moving it into the folder or workspace. You don't even need to create a new entry on this control sheet. And as each row specifies which column to collect the option list from and which column to send them to, the source and destination column names don't even need to match, which means you can update your existing sheets that may already have different naming conventions. So that's a quick look at our multi-sheet version of the Smarter drop-down list manager. Please contact us here at Smarter Business Processes if you'd like some more information or a more specific demonstration of this or indeed any of our other Smarter controls for Smartsheet apps. We'd be happy to provide a free initial consultation to discuss your requirements. Thanks very much for watching.